Hi guys, so I just want to make a video about uh, not eating before exercise, training, martial arts, especially heavy exercise, so it's me. But honestly, I haven't trained for a while. I haven't exercised in a while, but based on my experience before and now, even though back then I was I, I, when I I regular exercise regularly exercise or train martial arts back then uh, I often do not eat before training and so just like what happened today so I came back to training karate and did calisthenics I did not do the mind you, I didn't do the full impact of our calisthenics just like eight counts at least uh, but the point is you know training without eating it depends per person you know it depends per person but maybe for most people i guess for average people like me well well some people are used to it but i think for uh average you know, people or people in general if you want to train like heavy like martial arts or weight lift or run long distance long distances or bike cycle long distances you really need energy so it's like right now i'm shaking my, my stomach is burning so if you, if you can hear me we speak uh i really have no energy so i, I just barely finished the calis calisthenics uh, it was like around like 10 minutes it's what it wasn't full impact but i could could barely finish it so i'm shaking right now um my body's shaking my legs are shaking my arms are shaking my stomach is shaking oh my, my leg i can't oh i can feel my leg shaking uh, you know especially if you're gonna train heavy you know calisthenics is heavy especially if my, my body's heavy so it's heavy so I'm trying to pull my own weight so uh, eat based on my research you should at least like eat two or three hours before you train have you train but if you're just brisk walking speed walk I don't think you need training but right now I can feel my legs shaking so it's really painful it's shaking a lot so it depends per person so uh, so he also was on a diet so it was fine because i wasn't exercising i was in diet for a couple of weeks i don't eat a lot fasting so uh, okay i'm not a professional but so i'm gonna go it was fine you know you know i think i lost a lot of weight because now my dog can fit me back then it was only like up to here <laughs> <laughs> but now you can fit me so I'm so happy about that so I lost a lot of weight for diet and not exercising well I can work uh, fasting diet uh, just water most of the time because back then uh, a couple a month ago I, I had depression so I had a lot of indigestion I can't digest food at night so fasting helped and just water just a lot of water therapies not that much water so but a couple weeks ago just a couple drinks of water it was fine you know i didn't feel like eating so i had indigestion depression and didn't feel like eating so but at, at least i lost a lot of weight my belt can fit me now so but if you want to train martial arts or weight lift or exercise for just kind of standing so so exhausted i remember when i was training hard and but back then I was I also there's a lot of times back then that I don't like to eat so, or maybe I'm too busy and I went after work I went straight to martial arts training karate he's gonna have time to eat so I was on a rush like grabbing a quick bite then one of my instructors will scold me for eating before training saying that I'm crazy and when I start to train my, my stomach is just like going in circles because uh, i had some some something to eat before training so 
Uh, I've read maybe I can just grab a quick chocolate bar bite or peanut butter sandwich, but well, at least so I, I've tried it again now. I tried it back then, so I tried it again now. So, so you see, I'm so I really lack energy. So, uh, what I recommend it depends on you, you know, it depends on what you've. Uh, what do you it depends on per person but if you feel nauseating uh, if you feel dizzy if you feel like shaking if you feel like out of breath or in a disease you should uh, I drank some water so that helped so but your body your body your body just needs energy for intense training for heavy training so yeah it depends on per person so maybe we're not most people I eat, eat like two to three hours before training eat healthy well eat healthy okay so eat food that can be easily digested but uh two to three hours i think that's enough time to, to digest even though it's not like easily digestible food well, i'm not a food expert okay so but as you can see now i so i think i should do this again so i think i should eat like at least two hours before training uh, well so that's it so if you have if you're a professional or if you have more experience uh, you can comment down below your experience or so what your or your recommendation if you're fine with not train with not eating before training but uh, if you have to do you know, like a job you need, you need to eat you know your body needs energy to do your job to do your work and so how much more if you're going to exercise you know so so i'm not an expert so i'm not sure if but based on what i've read so if if you don't eat before you train so your body's gonna store more fat so but you know what i recommend is just eat before you train not too much you know just eat healthy eat regularly well you can lessen your portion if you want to lose weight faster but if you want to train hard so you're gonna burn it but you need energy to burn it. so what I recommend is not not to rush okay not to rush losing weight and get a feel for your body so uh, right now I'm getting a feel for my body and learn from my experience so I need if I want to do martial arts karate again I should eat before training at least an hour minimum for me uh, so get a feel for your body so only you can um, not only you but mostly probably you can tell your body will tell you what your body wants, what your body needs, what your body can do at the moment, right? what your body what your body can take at the moment. So, yeah, listen to your body. So, and don't push it too hard. You know, you slowly baby steps and losing weight uh, is not is not a an overnight success. So not a couple of weeks, not a couple of months. It's gonna take longer than that maybe five or six months at least to see some improvements but i think i've been dieting for more than a month now so i've lost weight so yeah as you can see here before i lost weight my tie tying my belt was only up you can only see here this long but now you can see this long so i made some progress so i still have belly so yeah, just take time, you know, especially, uh, it depends on your, on your age, so I'm almost 40, so, well, it's gonna take longer than to lose weight for my metabolism if you're growing older, uh, but it is what it is, you know, just take time, and just be consistent, you know, as much as possible as you can, and you'll get there as long as you're eating healthy most of the time you know not drinking 
like me not drinking one liter of soft drinks every day coca cola so yeah so i've lessened my vice consumption and my overall food consumption but i think i need to eat some again based on my experience today so thank you so much well good luck to you learn learn your body learn what, what your body needs get professional advice see you